Hi Scorpio, welcome to your May monthly 2021 general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. Okay, this first card and this only card is the main strongest message from Source for this month of May for you, Scorpio. It's number eight, Essences and Energies. Attune to subtle energies, balance, frequency holders. Okay, and this has sacred geometry and light codes in it to assist you in opening up that frequency for yourself. You can look at that as long as you feel necessary. Pause the video. Okay, so, well, I'm being drawn right away to that light blue. That is your second or higher heart, which is the thymus. So that is awakening. That is shifting. I'm getting, um, opening up for you. And I'm just drawn to the whale. And I don't know, for some of you, you might be drawn to or it might sound right for you, especially this month, possibly to listen to natural sounds of whales or dolphins that might um, attune you to something that you're needing, uh, assisting you in opening up your your thymus, um, a certain energy or frequency that the whales, or even possibly for some of you dolphins, but I'm really getting whale, whale, natural whale sounds with the ocean for some of you. Okay, so let's look and see what the tarot cards have to say for you. Scorpio, <laughs> did you see that? Okay. And with this essences and energies, so the Knight of Wands. And I was drawn to the color mainly. You have the color yellow, which is your solar plexus. So that is any essences or energies that assist you in opening up your solar plexus, your root chakra. And then there's also a little orange, which is your sacral chakra. So any of those. Wow. Okay. Or maybe even I'm getting a general um, light therapy or color therapy for all of your chakras. Knight of Wands, too, is the desire is coming to fruition. The month of May. A message of some kind that might also... Um, assist you on that path towards your desire or open up an opportunity to enable you to go for that desire and um, be successful, be successful at it. And even just in general, giving you a more uplifted, energetic, um, spark or um, your passion ignited, your passion ignited, whatever that is for you, whatever does that. Wow, what is going on? Um, wow. Okay. And maybe you have a lot of explosive energy that's just kind of out of control because that's what's kind of, as you can see, going on here with the cards and what the energy that it's coming into me with this reading so far. So, okay, let's go ahead and take all of these cards and um, we'll just see what happens here. What is going on? What is the story to be told for Scorpios here? And maybe this is something else that a lot of different energies, a lot of things
things are coming at you this May. So you gotta be on your toes. Oh, I just got, um, make sure you do your best to get enough rest because the wheel is turning and it is moving and you've got now, uh, um, if you've been in stagnation, not anymore, not anymore. <laughs> the energies are turning and this month here. Okay, so let's see. We have just the Knight of Wands and then the Eight of Pentacles, which reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune. So the Eight of Pentacles has everything to do with... I'm just getting forward motion. And it could have everything to do with, because we have the, the solar eclipse on the 26th, and it's a total, so, uh, not solar, lunar eclipse, excuse me. Um, and that's in Sagittarius. That will be on the 26th of this month. And um, we have a new moon in Taurus, 11 degrees, I believe. I mean, goodness sakes, on the 11th, I actually don't recall the degrees, but it's in Taurus, on the 11th of this month of May, new moon. Okay. Not getting much. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, then the Two of Wands came out. Okay, so the Eight of Pentacles, though, also has to do with your resources or your. Um, what you have established for yourself in the physical realm, whatever that might be. And what I'm seeing with the two of wands is you're getting two opportunities, two different opportunities, having everything to do with whatever this is that you have established already in the physical realm here. And it could be your personal self I just got for some of you too. So, so then this, these two different opportunities could have everything to do with your personal self and um, furthering your personal soul path on you on your soul path. So whatever that is, it's going to be, this is general. So just put that in your situation, but and I was drawn to the Aries at the right in between at the top there, the symbol of the Aries between the two wands. Um, and you could have Aries, you could have an Aries rising. Well, you could have an Aries sun too, depending on what is Scorpio for you. But I'm seeing something major for some of you. It's not necessarily for all of you major planet or your rising in Aries. It doesn't have to be though, but again, that's just, and, and if it's not that, it's that same passion energy because wand is fire energy along with, and you have two wands. So that's still, that's your passion. That's your drive. That's, um, what, what gets you, it, um, interested and excited and and wanting to go for it so one of these opportunities or maybe both of them maybe there's a combination and and it works cooperatively together for you to catapult you forward into whatever is you're desiring and this could have everything to do with this knight of wands whatever's coming towards you whatever desire is coming towards you that's what I'm seeing it's related because, again, they're both wands. 
and it's very positive for you and you're going to be very happy. The sun is shining bright. So go for it. Go for it. It is the right direction for you, whichever one you choose. Okay, and then the Queen of Cups. What I'm getting is this Two of Wands, this new opportunity, is going to put you in the Queen of Cups energy, which is very emotionally secure, very peaceful and harmonious and stable, very balanced emotionally with, with your yourself, your emotional self. And um, you're able to listen to your intuition and it's right on and it's right on so also for some of you another message is listen to your intuition about these two different opportunities if you're getting several coming in on which one is best for you or how again maybe for some of you it, you integrate both of them and it actually one could be an opportunity one could be a person or um, people or something, two different things that actually are cooperative together and they go parallel with each other. So that could be another thing too. Okay, and then we have the Four of Pentacles. I need to get some more with the Four of Pentacles because I'm not really getting anything. Stability, stability, that's pentacles. Um, this is going to make you more stable, more secure. Let's see. Kind of throwing things. That's okay. Yeah, your energies are very, um, what I'm getting is this energy is uh, very highly charged, highly charged. So it's almost like it's over the top. So some of you might want to calm down a bit. You might need to calm yourself down a bit. So these, so that you can be more calm and balanced moving forward. Because what I'm getting is it's a little, it's a little too, um, you're going to make make mistakes or, or not mistakes, but uh, you want to be calmer and more peaceful. So, so you're, because it's a little unbalanced. Maybe it's partly nervousness because of the newness. Maybe that's what it is. So you're excited, but that, but there is a nervousness because you don't, don't know how this is new or um, you don't exactly know how it's going to turn out. Oh, and also with these energies, you're still, you're moving into to new vibrations, new frequencies, higher frequencies that suit you now, but you're not used to that. So your body is also you getting used to it. And so it's almost like when it, it's like you're um, a toddler when they're learning to walk, they're not steady on their feet yet. They fall, <laughs> they stumble, they get back up. That's what's going on too. So you're getting used to this new energy and it's it feels different. It is a higher vibration, so it is um, um, a higher intensity like it's not a negative intensity, but it's just different. It's different. You're not used to it yet. So you take it slow and easy. That's okay. And I just got, okay, you will stabilize. You will stabilize the energy. You will stabilize in you and you will, um, everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be great. And I was drawn to the swan. That's you. That's you. Once you're stable in those energies, your new energies, you are that beautiful, grown, mature swan that's gliding gracefully on top of the water. That's, that's what you're in the process, so it's okay. 
it's okay um, if you're feeling whatever different energies or nervous or whatever that is, you know that you're moving into different energies and it has to rebalance. And okay, then the Seven of Cups. Dreams coming true is what I'm getting. And for some of you, I'm looking at the dove is in the center of the full moon is what I'm seeing. And that would be the 26th of May. Sagittarius. Full moon. Total lunar eclipse. Big, big, big magical magical, divine, the dove, divine, divine, um, new beginnings, out of the five of swords energy. So a lot of you have been, definitely been through and in experiencing the five of swords energy, which is really, um, cutting to your heart um, in very stabbing in your heart um, just betrayal and um, heart injuries whatever that is it's going to be different for all of you but um, that's what you're coming out of. That's absolutely what you're coming out of in May. Or you've totally, completely completed. So you're either just coming out of that. Um, either way, you're coming out of that. Let's get some clarifiers. Let me get some clarifiers for this Five of Swords to just see. Because I know all of you are on different parts of your path. And so um, maybe some of you are ending this Five of Swords. You know, it, it's going to be different for all of you. But, but you are ending it. You're in the process. Again, whether it's the end of May, the beginning of May, or whatever you are doing that. So, okay, so let's see what these clarifiers are. And I said the Five of Swords, so... Yeah, some of you've been... Because this is also the Ten of Swords. So, Five of Swords, Ten of Swords. So, some of you really went through it and it's been a heavy, heavy burden. Very burdensome and... Um, it's ruined, ruined you, so to speak, in, in one way or another. It's brought you all the way down to the bottom and forced you to um, just demolish that foundation that you thought was solid. And you had to start brand new all over again. And but... The positive thing, and I'm sure you can see this now, or you will be able to see it, this if you don't see it right now, is that that foundation, because it wasn't solid, it needed to come down. It was necessary. And so um, going through every, every, everything you went through, whatever that was, however heartbreaking, however debilitating, you now, you learn from that, you gained wisdom, strength. And what you've been building since then is solid. It stands the test of time, Scorpios. And so you are, you've got that foundation built and now you get to see what you want to build on top of that solid, long lasting foundation. And some of you are still in the, the, um, 
finishing touches of that base foundation for yourself too in May. But yes, you're a lot stronger. Look at this. Queen of Wands. That's you after all that you have come out of through this Ten of Swords and Five of Swords energy. So it's almost like some of you, because the Five of Swords came first and then the Ten of Swords, it's almost like you had an avalanche, you thought it was going to stop, it actually went farther down and you just kept going down until all the whole foundation was gone, which again was necessary, Scorpio necessary, because now you are like the Phoenix rising. Look at that. And again, the fire, Phoenix rising, the queen of wands. She's, she's stronger. She has more power now. She has more charisma. She has, um, more self-worth, more strength. She's more solid, more balanced because of what she's gone through. And she won't ever have to, and because she's already gone through that, that won't ever happen again. Your foundation is solid or it's going to be solid in May and you won't have to worry about that anymore or that anything like that happening ever again. Yeah. Okay, and then you have the judgment. That's number 20. Let me see. Let's get some more on this judgment. What are you trying to tell Scorpius for this judgment? Okay, I just got for some of you that are still judging yourself. No, no more. No more. Let that go. No more judgment, self-judgment. You have gone through the fire. You have paid the toll out of your own pocket, so to speak. You get to rise up. Your energy is changing. It is increasing for real. Okay, let's get some more details with this judgment card for Scorpio's blood. What else are you wanting? And you can let go of the past too. That's part of being able to, to move forward. That's part of what this queen, this is your energy. You're able to do now. Okay, judgment, let's see. Okay, I'm also getting with judgment, I was drawn to that, um, the cross on that flag. You are being protected from above. Because you have done, you have done the, the work that you have done. They are recognizing that and they see the value and the importance and the essentialness of what you have done. And you to be commended. They're proud of you. Whether it's your higher self, the universe, your um, ancestors, however you want to see that. You are being spiritually protected because you are valuable. Okay, what else? Let's see. Come on, what else for this judgment card? Give me a little more. I don't know. I just got two. Some of you might literally hear a trumpet sounding, blaring off. And if you do, pay attention. That's a sign of synchronicity from the universe, from your higher self, from source, giving you a message. And so pay attention to what you're thinking about. 
what you observing around you, what was going on. Okay, let's see. What is this judgment? Give me a little more details here. This judgment. Oh, I just got, okay, you're judging yourself too harshly. You're, you've been way too hard on yourself. It's for some of you, Scorpios. And um, it's, you're over that. You're over that. It's not going to happen anymore. Whatever in the past has happened, it's not going to, that's not going to happen anymore. You have, you have dealt with that properly. You have, you're ready to move forward. And the same thing is not going to happen. And others of you, yeah, is just saying that you've been through, this is the five of, of pentacles, which is another five, which is another um, survival, um, not having enough money, not having enough resources, just being lacking, physically lacking, and not being able to get out of that. Well, that is no longer. This is this is leaving, and this is under the judgment, so this is saying that you have passed that test, and now you are going to um, be, be judged for, for what you have done and accomplished, and you, you've passed that test, so to speak, never again. Okay, what else? Scorpio, sun so rising, north or south, north of the moon. What are the details for these energies? And what may the information? Wheel of Fortune, yes, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, finally you get to move forward. Finally you will see, you will have an opportunity. It will catapult you forward. You will get out of whatever this... Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Ten of Swords has been putting you through. Very, very deep, dark, tough stuff. But, again, you have the world. And then you have the Hermit. Yes, you have spent the, that time with yourself, dealing with your personal stuff, your inner work, and you're going to be commended now, and you also, you know who you are, and you have, a, you have now a direction and a strong sense of self, and you can weather any storm now because of all that you've been through, and you also have a lot of wisdom to share with others. Yes, what I was just saying, and you have strength, the strength card. Yes, this has made you much stronger, much wiser, and you now have, you, you have a contribution that you can make to this Aquarian age because of all that you have been through. Something invaluable that, that is essential for others, and it will assist them on their path. Whatever that is and however you choose to share that is, is completely up to you and uh, you, will, you will know the best way that's for you. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, let's get what is your main energy, astrological energy. Scorpios, sun, moon, rising. North or south nodes of the moon for Scorpio for May. What is your their main astrological energy for the month of May? The strongest. Just have the birds just all out, just flying around, flying in the trees. I have a whole bunch of blackbirds. I would say about. 20 of them at least in this tree right outside they are just having a ball now there's about 50 that is so neat and the tree's just budding oh i love to see that
And that's what you Scorpios get to do now too. You get to have fun. You get to fly around. You get to enjoy the sun. You get to um, just be with your friends. Um, do something that you really like doing. Whatever that is. Enjoy the sun. Is that what I said? Did I say that already? Leo in here. Okay, I said enjoy the sun. Look at that. That's a sunflower, but to me that looks like the sun. So Leo, again, you have other Leo energy. So you have a, a lot of fire, several fire energies here. And, and again, um, you have the astrology. This is the astrological energy is Leo. You're on stage. You, oh, um, all eyes are on you, Scorpio, in the month of May. And I'm seeing even in June, for some of you, you have something to say. You get to speak, you get to sing, you get to yell. Oh, look at that guy. Look at, look at he's, he's expressing, he's communicating. That's what you get to do. In very flamboyant, people will listen. People will listen. Yep. You have a strength and a charisma that you didn't have before. Before you went through your, for lack of a better word, hellish, hellish time. Okay. But now you're all the better for it. That is awesome. Okay, let's, let me just, we'll take a, just a little seven energies card and see what other little details for the month of May for Scorpio, okay. Oh, spirit of gratitude. 43. So look at that beautiful flower. Yes, you just have that harmonious, loving, thankful, grateful, bright attitude. And you're just shining it like a star. I just got a picture of a bright, shining star. Really bright white light. And you're just sharing your bright light with others. That's neat. Okay, let's get one more for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising. Whoops, north or south nodes of the moon for Scorpio for May. What else can I tell them? Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. Wisdom. Yes, you gained much wisdom by digging and diving down into the depths of yourself, of your soul and clean house for yourself. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. That's beautiful, okay. Well, that's all I have for you, Scorpio, for the month of May. You enjoy yourselves and you speak your wisdom joyfully and happily. Okay, until next time.